Can I ask a favor? I have trouble in answering these three questions. So, can I ask some help? Hi! Sure, let's have this question answered. Let's start and answer this first equation. Finding the equation of the circle whose the center is 5 and negative 2 with the midpoint of the segment joining the center and one of the point on the circle is negative 2 and positive 1. First step is use the equation of the circle which is quantity of x minus h squared plus quantity of y minus k squared equals to r squared and then substitute the value of, of h and k which is 5 and negative 2 which can be replaced nor substitute to 5 and negative 2 and then proceed by solving the distance by using this formula square root quantity of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared is equals to square root of quantity of negative 2 minus 5 squared plus quantity of 1 plus 2 squared is equals to square root of 58 x 2 equals to square root of 58 and then substitute the quantity of x minus 5 squared plus quantity of y plus 2 squared is equals to 232. So let's move on to the next problem. A single line street 10 feet wide goes through a semicircular tunnel with radius 9 feet. How high is the tunnel at the edge of each of the lane? Round of the two decimal places. So in this case, we are going to use the equation of the circle because it was said that the tunnel was semicircular. Our center here is 0, 0 and the radius is 9 feet. Let the 10 feet go to the flat surface of the semicircular and it must be divided equally and put form 5 units to the left and 5 units to the right. Since it is repairing on how high the tunnel is at the edge of each lane, we are going to find the height of the tunnel. Our x here is going to be 5 since the edge of the, of the lane in right is 5, as well as to the left. So the end point of the tunnel is 5y. Therefore, we are going to solve for the y value. 5 squared plus y squared is equal to 9 squared. Transpose the 5 squared to the right and it will become negative. 9 squared minus 5 squared is also 81 minus 25 and it will equal to 256. In order to cancel out the square in the y, we're going to get the square of the both sides. Square root of y squared is simply y and the square root of 56 is positive negative 7.48 and so on but then we're just going to get two decimal places so yeah we're just considered 7.48 since there's no negative in distance therefore the distance of the height of the tunnel is 7.48 feet wait i can't let everything be answered by both of you i realized that i should answer this last question by myself oh really well good luck a ferris wheel is elevated one meter above the ground when a car reaches the highest point on the ferris wheel its altitude from the ground level is 31 meters how far away from the center horizontally when it is at an altitude of 24 meters we have the height of the ferris wheel above the ground which is one meter height of the car at the highest point of the ferris wheel is 31 meter now we will find the horizontal distance of the car when its distance from the ground is 24 meter. First we will determine the diameter of the ferris wheel by subtracting the height of the ferris wheel above the ground and from the height of the car at the highest point of the ground 
Thus, D represents the diameter. D is equal to 31 minus 1 is equal to 30 meters. So, 30 meters is the total diameter of the Ferris wheel. Since we now have the radius of the Ferris wheel, we will divide it by 2. 2 divided by 30 is equal to 15. Since we are now given that the altitude of the Ferris wheel is 24 meters, and we are 1 meter above the ground, thus 24 minus 1 is equal to 23. So the altitude of the Ferris wheel is 23 meters from the lowest point of the Ferris wheel. We subtract the altitude 24 meters and the 1 meter above the ground. Now to find the value of y squared, we subtract the altitude and the diameter of the ferris wheel and the answer is 8 meters. Now we substitute the given value of y squared and r squared. x squared plus 8 squared is equal to 15 squared. Now we will transpose the equation x squared is equal to 8 squared minus 15 squared. So it's now x squared is equal to 64 minus 225 is equal to 161. To cancel the exponent of x, we will now find the square root of the equation. x is equal to square root of 161 and is equal to 12.68. So therefore, the horizontal distance from the center of the ferris wheel of the car at 24 meters altitude from the ground is 12.68 meters. That's all. Thank you.